Hello viewers, I'm SB and this is Depiction. I play a lot of puzzle games, um, like a lot of puzzle games, but I don't usually put them on the channel because I don't necessarily know that they make like fascinating content. Um, but since we're here talking about the things that I was really into over the course of the year, I think this deserves, uh, deserves a mention. I put a ton of hours into this. If you know what Picross is, probably you're looking at this and going, okay, it's a Picross. And it is, it is basically a, a Picross game. Listen, there can never be enough of them. I, I enjoy a good Picross. If you're not familiar with this, uh, it's a puzzle that is about coloring in the squares to create a picture. And these numbers at the tops of the columns and on the left sides of the rows tell us which uh, which cells to, to color in. So, for example, this one says there is a block of eight contiguous cells that are colored in in this row. They're colored in this bright red color. So we know there's only eight cells here. Obviously, that's true. And we can go ahead and just do that in all of these... Uh, all these rows. Uh, this one is telling us there is a block of one dark red cell, and then uh, somewhere below that, a block of seven contiguous bright red cells. So this puzzle is pretty easy. But the thing that's a little bit different about Depiction, uh, a little bit different from other Picross games, is that each puzzle is actually three puzzles. So we're creating a um, we're creating an image with a greater depth of color than you usually make in these things. So obviously this is pretty easy. I picked the very first real puzzle just to be able to show you guys what it looks like. So here we have one cell, then a block of six, then a block of one. Since that's the width of the puzzle, uh, obviously it's pretty easy to, to figure out. Here we know there's a block of one dark cell and then three light cells. And since we already know where the dark cell in the column is, that makes it pretty easy to place the rest of the stuff. And listen, you guys are smart. You get this. I don't have to explain Picross. Gee, I wonder what this image is going to be. <laughs> All right, so here we can see there are no uh, no colored cells in this column, which means that this block of six has to be right here because there's also no colored cells in that column. Whenever you have two uh, adjacent groups of the same color, obviously they can't be touching. Otherwise, this, if, if the group of four was right here, instead of being a one and a four, it would just be a group of five, right? So we know that these two groups of four must be there. And we did it. We made a floppy disk. 1.44 megabytes of high density capacity. If you are too young to have ever used a floppy disk, yeah, for real, they were 1.4 megabytes. How did we ever survive? All right, so let's jump back out to the to the menu here. That's basically what a depiction is. Uh, I reset my save here so that none of the puzzles would be completed. Let's try one that's a little bit bigger. Uh, where's the first? You know, we can just do a 16, that's fine. So as you can see, they uh, they get a little bit larger. I believe the the largest puzzles in this uh, in this particular collection are 24 by 24, and remember each one of them is effectively three 24 by 24 puzzles. So sometimes they can be quite uh, they can be a little time consuming to complete, and they never get super hard in that you know they're always just a Picross puzzle. Uh, here we can mark that we know this cell is empty because the nine has to not be contiguous with the three. Uh, here we have a group of one that can't be connected to this three. Uh, so let's see, 253 is left, so 253, there's one, this doesn't quite add up to the length of this column, right? There's one extra space in the column and we don't know where it goes yet, so we can't fill these in too, too much. Except that we know the whole group of three must be below the uh, the dark group of five, which is right here, which this cell is a part of. So the group of, the group, the red group of three could be here, or it could be here, you know, but Either way, we know it contains this cell at the very least. And actually, also knew that that cell was bright red because we know this group at the edge here is a uh, is a four. And we can fill in, you know, using these uh, these things. We can fill in. We know that these groups from the uh, coming out from the side of the puzzle must be at least this big. Ooh, this is wrong. Why did I? Why did I have that colored in? I don't know. It's definitely not colored in. Okay, so three. So now we know that this is where the red two fits, which means this is where this fits. Okay, so that one extra space I was talking about was uh, was in a space that we had colored in accidentally. Oops. All right, uh, we know this is that dark group of three at the top of this thing, which means this cell is definitely not colored in. So three, then four, then we have the two, then we have another three. Yeah, actually, this puzzle has been very easy so far. A lot of the, uh, 
A lot of the rows and columns in this one are just barely large enough for the number of cells that they contain. That's not always the case. It's true here as well, though. Uh, so there's nine... Well, hold on. These two, uh, these two columns are just tall enough for the number of depicted cells, so we can fill these in. That'll help us with everything else, because now we know these groups of four are all the way at the edge of the puzzle. Uh, this is a group of three. This is a four with a space after it. Yeah, it's Picross. I'm just going to do this whole puzzle here on camera, but at this point, you may well have an idea of whether or not this is a thing you like already. And since we know that this group starts at the edge of the puzzle, thanks to the columns, we can just complete that row. So, what else do we know here? This is six tall, and then the next thing in this column is that dark group of two, which we already have drawn in, thanks to the uh, other parts of the puzzle. So we know that's what that column looks like. This column is, uh, is also finished. This row is finished, so we know none of these are colored. Since the next thing has to be a group of five, we know that none of these cells are used because a group of five wouldn't fit in them. Uh, it's always tough for me to know what people are going to be familiar with already. Oh, we can see this is a bright red group of two and then that row is completed. So sometimes I feel silly trying to like explain Picross because part of me is going, everybody has already done this. But, um... Literally every time I have ever said that in a video, listen, I don't need to explain this to you. Everybody knows what this is. I've gotten comments from people going, I don't know. I've never seen this thing before. You do, in fact, have to explain. All right, so let's see. In this column, this is a dark colored group of six. Then there's a light colored group of two and a light colored group of three before the dark one. So one of these two is red, the uh, bright red, and the other one is empty. Uh, What else do we know here? We know this is a light-colored group of two. We know this is a dark-colored group of seven. And then there's a light-colored group of three. So we know this cell can't be colored, right? Because even at the lowest possible placement, the light-colored group of three is just these three cells. Uh, oh, we know this is a group of three here, and this is a group of seven. And I... yep, I did not do the math right. Okay. So here we have this light colored one. You can see the game marks off which groups you've completed already. So we know that a dark one must go here because there has to be a dark group between the two light groups. There we go, that column's pretty easy. Also, I really like the music in this game. The music in a puzzle game doesn't have to be good. You can totally just mute it and listen to a podcast or whatever. But um, but I always appreciate when they put in that little bit of extra effort to get some decent music. All right, so we know that there's one bright red or one light colored red cell in here somewhere. Sorry, this this column is completed. It'll help me if we just mark off the completed bits here. So, actually, no. What we know is that this is the first light-colored cell, that's the second. We can do this, which means that cell is light-colored. And then here we have light, light, dark, light, and then two dark. So actually, there's just enough space for all that to fit in. Uh, you are actually done, except that I didn't fill in that cell for some reason. Okay. There we are. That's the red part of that. And I... It's a cupcake, maybe? It might be a cupcake. It is probably a cupcake. Listen, I'm not here to make pictures. I'm here to fill in cells with colors. I guess that's kind of an interesting, uh, an interesting idea, right? Probably there are some people who are playing Picross because they like the part of it where you make a picture. I like the part where I follow abstract directions until I have completed the task that was set before me by whoever came up with the directions. Because that's the kind of nerd I am. The kind of nerd who is like way into Baba is You, you know? Although, everybody should be way into Baba is You. That was... What a game. What a game that is. 
All right, so we're just getting some of the easy stuff out of the way here. We know this is a group of three that is then separated from this group of nine. So you can always just look at the uh, look at the column and row, uh, look at the numbers in the columns and rows at first, and figure out which rows are complete, which rows and columns are completely filled with color. Uh, remembering, of course, that any two groups of contiguous color will have a spacer between them. So like nine plus three plus three plus the one makes that an easy sixteen. Uh, let's see, this should be a three. Somewhere in here we have a single light-colored cell. Well, we know this space isn't used, right? Because the first group in here has to be a contiguous uh, bunch of five. We know this space isn't used, because we need that uh, that spacer. So in here we have a group of five, and then, uh, unfortunately, this, uh, this describes a, a colored space that is one space shorter than the amount of cells we have here. So we can't yet make a determination on that. Uh, we know that this is not... This is not a light cell, so one of these three is light to complete this row. And any one of these columns could have a single light cell at the top of it. That's not useful information just yet. Uh, this should be five cells, this should be four. One thing that I really like about Picross um, is that, unlike some types of puzzle games, it's it's very easy in some puzzle games to get stuck in a rut of, of not being able to see the solution and um, just have no way to no way to cope with that. In Picross, there's almost always another angle you could move to. So if I'm looking at if I'm looking at this and going, well, Jesus, there's just no way to know where that group of two is, we can just swap around and start tackling maybe even the same area of the puzzle from another angle that will fill in more information for us. I think that's part of what makes these so satisfying. Uh, this should be five cells. So now we know this is part of a group of four. Uh, one of these is light, but we don't know which one yet. Actually, we know it's not this. We know it's not this, looking at the column headings. We know that also can't be light. There we go. That's another row out of the way. Uh, this is finished, which means this can't be part of that group of two. One of these two spaces is light colored due to the column reading, and it could be either of them. Right, this row has a light colored group of five in the middle of it and no matter what arrangement that is those four cells will be lit up and then we know that none of these can be colored because that that is going to need some dead space around it uh, same thing is true here so now we know a lot more about where that two is don't quite have it yet uh, in this row we have a group of seven there's eight spaces here, but we know six of them will be colored in this way, and this must be light because the group of uh, the group of seven is going to need space around it. And we're getting through this. This is working. Okay, so we know that these are the first two light cells described in this column, which means that none of those spaces are used. Uh, what else do we have? So light, light, ah, we know that this is a group of three dark cells, and that completes the column. Which means that neither of these spaces can be used. This is just like a very calming experience. I had, um, I posted a video about it by this point. I had a real rough go of things this year, and this game was, maybe this sounds silly to say, but this game was there for me in a way that, like, really helped. You know, sometimes when things are going rough, what you need most is a break from thinking about the bad things. Sometimes there's nothing you can do in the moment, and you just need to be elsewhere for a little while, while things in the real world take some time to resolve. Uh, and that's a thing puzzle games are really, really great for. Because uh, you, can't, you can't just stop thinking about a bad thing, right? That's impossible. You can All you can really do is get yourself to start thinking about something else. And a Picross game is a great, non-threatening thing to be thinking about in a moment like that. Alright, we're getting there. We're getting there slowly. You know what? There's probably... I'm talking about how puzzle games are maybe not super fun content to watch. There's probably room on, on YouTube or Twitch or something for a person who is basically just doing the Bob Ross thing but for puzzle games that make pictures instead of for actually painting. 
All right, what else do we have left? Uh, okay, so we know this is a four, which means this is a one, which means this column is also complete, which helps us narrow that down. Uh, here, this group is two. Oh, we now know where the seventh cell in this row is, which also completes this column, which tells us that the light group of two must be right here. That's another thing about Picross games that I really love is as as things start closing off, you start to get that cascade of solutions going. That's not unique to Picross. A lot of puzzle games have that sort of thing. Um, but Picross is a place where like there's a really clear spatial example of what I'm talking about, so I don't have to spend a long time trying to describe an abstract concept. Sorry, that can't be colored. That can't be colored. Yeah, on the whole, this is not uh, not a super difficult game, but man, it is so good for just, like, chilling out your brain, for getting your brain to just take it easy for a minute. Okay, so we know this isn't colored in. These cells are part of a group of seven that must contain at least these five cells. And the other two could be some combination of here, 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 and here, which means none of these are colored in. Uh, okay, 416, we have no idea where that is yet. We do know where this group of nine is, which is useful information. Uh, this is a group of six, here's a five. Uh, this cell could totally be the one dark cell in this column, so not mess with that yet. Oh, this, this has to not be colored in. We have a... Uh, Another another blue group in that column. Uh, we know that this isn't colored in because this is the space between those two ones. And in fact, we know this is where the dark one goes because there are no dark cells in this row at all. Which means that is also not used. There are no dark cells in this row or this row or this row. So we know all of those have to be blank, and it's good to fill in these um, these dead spaces because they help you figure out what the possibilities are for other things. We know this is dark because this dark four must contain that cell no matter where it is, which means we can kill that whole row. This whole row is X's. So we still don't really have a good sense of where that dark one is. I guess we know it's not here. This is a one and a one and a two. This cell doesn't, or this row, this column doesn't have any dark cells, nor do these two. Hold on. It's not safe for me to darken those yet, though, because those, those could be part of this group, and in fact, definitely are part of this group. Should probably have filled in that six right at the beginning of the puzzle. You know, there's a lot to do in a pick cross. There's a lot of stuff that should get filled in right away. And you just do your best. Okay, that's super helpful, because that tells us where the dark group of four is, because there's no longer room for it on this side. And that means we know where some of these other groups are. Also, this column is finished. Uh, that finishes this... No, that does not finish this row. That tells us that this is where that dark one is. Okay, and if that's the top of the seven, then that's the bottom of it. This is a two, necessarily. All right, everything's wrapping up nicely here. We're getting we're getting that nice, satisfying cascade. We know this is where this dark cell must be in this column, because there are no dark cells in that row. This cell must be light in order to accommodate that group of two. Uh, oh, we know this is the dark group of four in this column, which actually completes all of these rows down here, which is nice. That's a two, and that's our final one. It is, in fact, a cupcake. I do. The puzzle game got me. I absolutely do want a cupcake now. Fortunately, it's Christmas time, and there's a ridiculous amount of sugary garbage in the house, so I think I'll be alright. But I don't need to show you any more than that. That's what this game is. At this point, you definitely know whether you want this thing or not. It is not very expensive. I should probably have noted what the price was before starting the video. I'm going to jump over to the Steam store page really quickly here. Unfortunately, kills the funky music. 
This game is four dollars. Four dollars, and there are this many puzzles. And some of them are some of them are larger than the one I just did, and yeah, I think there's 96 maybe? It's a lot. It's a whole lot of this thing. If you are a fan of Picross or just having something where your brain can be active but also calm, just as a form of like self-therapy, this game has a ton of this thing in it for the price, and it's really good. So that's gonna be it for us for for some reason. The thing's not hmm, the Patreon credit screen is supposed to there it is. That's going to be it for us for now. Thank you all so much for watching.